Hey guys, it's me here. Uh, no, no clap on this one. Um, we're talking about something that's uh, probably going to be a little controversial in the Eidolon community. Um, so, with your recent event that came out, obviously we're pretty hype about it. Um, I think the thought of it is nice. It's a summer event. People like events. I mean, it's a great way to get candy. It's a great way to get gems. Um, you know, to kind of catch up and speed, really speed up your account, right? And I, I think that's that's pretty acceptable. People like that. And especially with the bonuses, it seems to be implementing kind of account wide and the transference of the event points from event to event, um, or most events or some events, I don't know, it's kind of unclear. Um, but I, I think it's a, you know, good idea. However, uh, there's been some controversy that came out over it in the past. Uh, how long has it been? It was Saturday streams about two days ago, past 48 hours or so. There's been some controversy surrounding it. And um, I thought I'd spend some time and make a video discussing it. So um, I won't be, there, there are certain people in the idol on gen chat and in my discord who brought up the, yeah, I, I don't know what else to call it besides deception uh, regarding the drop chance of getting golden oysters from the coolers. And um, as someone who, you know, me and myself, I spent money in the game uh, to, you know, test it out and uh, I spent it on stream and I didn't get a whole lot of event points from it, from getting the coolers, that is. I'll swap over to Eidolon Gaming so you guys can see exactly uh, sort of what uh, what I did in the gym shop. So I bought all the coolers. I bought, uh, I think, 15 or so golden oysters. I can buy another one right now. I probably will. Um, and it was stated in the Discord uh, by Lava that the coolers have a 2% chance uh, to produce a golden oyster. Let me get the exact verbiage here. I don't want to misquote him. Actually, uh, I have a whole thing I'm actually going to talk about here. Um, he said specifically, while the free one event point at 50th cooler is neat, you will get more points from your golden oysters you'll collect from opening your 50 coolers at a 2% chance per cooler. You should get one golden oyster on average per day, which you can hold, uh, which can hold one, two, four, seven event points. On average, about 1.53 event points. So what that essentially means is when you open a cooler, that cooler has a chance, a 2% chance to roll and drop you an oyster. So you won't get, you won't guarantee one event point or uh, sorry, one golden oyster per day. Uh, it just means every cooler you, has, uh, you have has a 2% chance. So there's variance in there. You may not get one, you may get one. It's very RNG gated. I've seen people in <laughs> uh, buy out the gem shop get a bunch of golden oysters and finish the event. Um, whereas I, on the other hand, spent uh, gems on 15 golden oysters and all the coolers and have done two, almost three days of this event. And I barely have one uh, of the uh, of the things in the event. I'll go ahead and jump over to the town in world one so you can see what I purchased and how many event points I have. But um, I definitely am not close to finishing this event. Um, and I'm a little peeved about that. It's, call me entitled for that. I'm okay getting that title for someone who drop money in the game doesn't have all the uh, all the boost for it but i there's a bigger issue at play that's why i'm mad i'm not necessarily mad that i don't get it because i understand variants i understand rng that's not the part that peeves me but the part that peeves me is this controversy right here um lava has specifically stated it was a two percent chance per cooler there are people who do scour the code of eidolon and they did verify in the code of the game that it's not two percent and um, Lava has been reached out to about this being what I seem uh, seems to be kind of radio silent on the matter. Um, the code doesn't say 2%, it says 1%. Uh, I saw someone posted the actual code in Eidolon Gen Chat. Um, it basically takes, um, it generates a random number, a float between 0 and 1. And if it's higher than 0.99 or 1% chance, you will get a golden oyster. So it's not 2%, it's 1%. It's only 50% less chance of you getting it, which makes the variance even higher as far as I know. So I, again, I'm not a statistician or anything, and I don't deal with the code, but based off of my kind of small understanding of coding, I don't, I, I, I think it's fair to say that this is deceptive writing and deceptive marketing on Lava's part, and he needs to address this because I am guarantee you I'm not the only one that spent money on gems during this event, and... Uh, I'm kind of concerned people are going to take this to an even ex more extreme route than I'm taking it, and that there's a lot more... It, it, it Essentially, it, it amounts to almost false advertising, and 
I think it's just bad PR that he hasn't responded on this yet. <laughs> Honestly, he's he's issued a correction about um, about this again, reinstating that there's a two percent chance for cooler, but. The code seems to, and multiple people have confirmed looking at the code and coming to the same conclusion that there is a only a 1% chance as opposed to 2%. And while it is a small number, again, it is a 50% reduction of the drop rate that he is stating, which heavily impacts the variance as far as I know. So it's, it's bad <laughs> and it needs correcting, honestly. Um, I, I know two people in the uh, Elon Discord kind of going back and forth about this and, you know, mentioning it. Someone even um, went so far as to create a thread talking about it, but it's misinformative and it does a disservice to his people. And it's one of, I, I suppose it's one thing in a long string of controversies in Eidolon, and I think this is... Um, some people are comparing it to pet companions. I don't think it's that extreme, but it is an issue nonetheless. And I wanted to use my platform to talk about it. You know, it, my whole content stream is around Eidolon and I think I should talk about this because it's impacting people or rather it's impacting everyone that plays Eidolon that's taking part of this event. And I think it's a decent thing to bring up and I'm relatively peeved about it because I spent, uh, basically two weeks of free to play gems, uh, between alchemy, uh, between giant kills and, you know, kind of doing boss kills, spending those points on the gem shop, as well as spending $20 on the game, uh, for gems to come up with basically nothing in the event. And I think that's disappointing. And I think it sucks. It could be locked out of some things that are, uh, you know, uh, account wide that I might miss out on for the next few months or so. Again, that's kind of entitled, uh, coming from me, but Again, I think it's controversial and I think it needs talking about because I know a lot of people don't actually browse the discords or get in, engrossed in the controversy, but just know as a PSA for everyone that does play the game uh, that there, there are, I suppose, issues with this event and I think needs to be better managed by Lava. So this is a little call attention. Uh, again, my little public letter to the developer of the game. Uh, please at least talk to us. <laughs> it's the very, the very least you can do. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Uh, real quick thing I want to add at the end of the video. I did reach out to these two people that did mention uh, sort of the, uh, the raw code as well as the information that I did reference in this video. I haven't gotten a response because, well, relatively, I mean, I'll be fair, it's been only 30 minutes since I reached out to them. I didn't get a response, which is fine. Their lives are probably in different time zones than me. So I didn't get a response from them elaborating further on the code. So I kind of went off my gut here. Uh, but based off of what they're saying in the um, in the you know, the images that I took, I think it's pretty cut and clear that they think and uh, seem to reach a consensus on that it's only a 1% drop rate, so I felt it was fine making the video. Now, as to regards, I did have concerns that these people might get, um, I suppose, disposed of in the Discord, and I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, I think, again, I do want to call out, I think that would be petty, and I don't think that would be healthy towards the game, because these people are very affluent and um, important in the Eidolon community, so I think they have enough political capital to survive. Um, and I, again, it's just great resources to reference as part of a broiling controversy in the Eidolon community. Uh, however small it may be, I think it's relatively huge um, of an issue enough to bring it to, to attention to a public platform. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Have a good one.